Okay, now we're going to go over the test that you guys took over plate tectonics last Friday. Some of you may have made it up on Monday. And let's talk about number one. Number one says, what type of plate boundary is most likely to occur at point A in the diagram? Here's point A in the diagram. So A is between these two plates right here. So if we're looking at this plate, oops, we're looking at this plate and this plate. What's happening right there? So if you look in the mantle here, we see these arrows where the magma is sort of spinning around in circles. And those are those convection currents. And what's happening is at this point, they're pushing these two plates apart. So we call this type of boundary a transform divergent, reverse, or convergent kind of boundary is happening right here where they are pushing apart, getting farther and farther apart. It's called a divergent boundary. Diverge means to move apart or to, to split in two. Number two, we've got this giant supercontinent that the dinosaurs lived on back when the plates we're all stuck together still. You see how we've got the United States and Canada right here with South America and it used to fit in with Africa. This giant supercontinent we called Pangaea D. Number three, what type of plate boundary has plates sliding past each other? So if I've got one plate here and I've got one plate here and this plate starts moving this way, and this plate is moving that way. They're going to scrape across each other. They're not going to run into each other, they're not going to pull away. They're going to move sideways. I mean, we call this a transform boundary. Number four, the process occurring in the mantle that is thought to be the force behind plate tectonics is an example of A, a plate boundary, B, divergent boundary, C, normal fault, or D, convection current. Now what I was talking about back on this one here is we had these currents moving around, moving the plates, and we call those currents convection currents in the mantle, convection. Number five, what happens to rock around a subducting slab? So the word has this prefix on it, sub, and sub means beneath or under. So if we look at all these answer choices, we've got A, it goes over the other plate, B, it goes under the other plate, C, it combines with the other rock, or D, it disappears from Earth. So which one of those do you think if I know what that prefix for subducting means, means under, I'm going to choose the one that says it goes under the other plate. What six water boundaries like the one pictured below are called? Okay, so here we have a plate. This one's going downward. And here we have a plate and this one's going over the top. And they are coming, if you look at these arrows right here, they are pushing together. They're running into each other. We call that type of boundary a convergent boundary. Convergent. Seven, what is the approximate rate of plate movement? That means how fast do they move? So. The answer to this, meters are like really long, that's too far. Millimeters, that's not enough, okay? The answer is they move about a few centimeters every year. You just know that or you don't. Okay guys, so that's your quiz. Um, hopefully you did well, and if not, that was some review so that you know what you did wrong.